today I've sort of come up with half an idea and I've got to figure out a way to finish it off and I thought I'd include you all in the process team as uh, I think some of you quite enjoy that. Now it's not a proper how-to video because I'm not right there yet with the videography type stuff but um, but yeah I wanted to include you in um, how we go through the design process, how we figure out what it is that we need to do maybe give a little bit of reassurance to the guys out there who have a tendency to wing stuff. Especially when it comes to workshop projects, I have like an idea and then kind of just make the rest up as I go along. I find that that way is probably not the best way, it's probably not the most efficient way, but um, I'll tell you what, it's definitely the most stre least stressful way because if a problem comes up, we'll figure it out and we'll get on to the next bit. So uh, yeah, let's have a look and see where we're at and uh, where we want to be then, yeah? So then, if you've been following over on Instagram, this is the uh, overhead crown saw guard dust extractor thing that I came up with. Big issue that I've got, obviously this wants to sit about here. Issue I've got is, how do I get out from the wall here, out? Do I go floor standing, do I come from the wall? What swing arm do I use, do I go timber, do I go metal? Now, if you've noticed, I can be a little bit cheap. Not cheap, frugal. Right, I'm frugal. So, initially, what I thought is I thought of doing something like this. Like a bit of 3x2, a bit of 4x2, off the wall, and I was thinking of doing like a, you know, like a mid-century type, where it's got a piece of timber here, a piece of timber here, and there's a huge dowel that goes full of them. But I've got to go buy timber. And I can't really be bothered with that. I've got a bunch of offcuts, right? So I've got all this 18mm hard to place pie. So what I think what I'm going to do is sort of like trim all this down, make it look pretty, and it's going to come out like that, and then this piece here is going to be another section, probably not this long, maybe a couple of feet long, that's going to tag onto that end bit. So we're going to have like a section here and a section here. So that's going to be secured to the wall over here with a nice big back like this. And I hope that's going to work. It should be stronger because all it needs to do is support a bit of plastic pipe. But yeah, if you've watched some of my other videos and you've seen, ooh, where am I? There. If you've watched some of the other videos and you've seen uh, what looks like me scratching my head a lot, uh, that's because I have a tendency to scratch my head, that's why I'm losing my head. Okay. So you have the basic idea, we've got the, we've got the saw guard, this is like a prototype, so this might not be finished, um, but we're going to see how it works, because uh, I might put, this is acrylic, I might put polycarbonate on here. I always wear glasses, but I would hope for something to shatter and then shatter the acrylic and have a piece of acrylic flying in my eye, that would kind of suck. We're going to have a pipe that comes out the top there. We're going to have some sort of riser mechanism so I can move it up and down. And that's going to go up to a, like a bit of bifold timber and it's going to be secured on the wall, like down here. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm not quite sure I do. But I think we'll get there, so it's going to be all right. Cool, let's crack on then. You can see here, the grain's running like this way. Ideally it wants to run this way. Um, but it's plywood, I don't think that's going to be a problem. And then this section here, the grain's running this way, and again, ideally, I want it to run that way. But I think if there's any issues, I can just, I'll just like uh, laminate a strip onto this and maybe laminate, 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 laminate some strips this way, maybe this way, and we'll just strengthen it up. I have lots of plywood so that won't be an issue there'll be a like a, maybe a two before another section of 18 mil maybe one inch plywood here that's going to be against the wall there'll be some hinges along this way so this piece will bend this way and then there's going to be hinges here so that this piece can bend in we're going to secure it right up there next to the splitting wall okay so this way is about three kilos right and I'll put that there so i don't lose it again and it's a toss up between the additional weight, which means it's gonna move around less, and the additional weight, which is gonna provide extra strain on the hinges. What do you think, what would you do? Would you skin some material out of this just to give it a bit of a, a, bit of a fighting chance? Because it's not just, I mean, it's like, it's gonna be six foot long. It's gonna create a massive lever effect, right? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go four inches in. <laughs> what do you reckon? 
you see that? So leaving that much at that end, chopping it all the way back up to here. That gives us like 75 mil along here, 75 mil along the base. My only concern is, is if it's gonna twist it like this. You know, work. Sometimes you've just gotta give it a go, don't you? Do, do you ever find, right, when you're trying to start a project, I always say to Shelley, it's like you get paralyzed with ideas, right? You'd sometimes, it doesn't matter how much you plan something, sometimes you just need to get moving with it, get cracking with it, work, and then if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, you just tear it apart. Because otherwise, you end up just sitting there going back to pause, back to pause, back to pause, back to pause. Or fixing the problem I came up with in the design, then as I've gone through the project, realized that uh, step eight didn't matter that I'd wasted three hours trying to figure it out, because when I got to step two, everything had to be redesigned, so everything from step two onwards was stuffed. Yeah, do you, you guys ever feel like that? I think it's important sometimes just to get moving and get cracking, and, uh, yeah, this is going to be proper rough and ready because, well, it just is. Shall we see how it turns out then? Just trim that, hinge onto there like that. That's so that can fold back and fold out. It is now, it's now home time. So I'm going to go home, have some food, and we'll crack on with this tomorrow, eh? See how we get on then. outside isn't it eh? That's a bit rubbish considering how beautiful sunny it was but what can you do? We've got this piece here which is going to be the main boom arm to go up the top end here. This is going to be the extendable bit which is going to reach out. Uh, I've got an idea on how I'm going to do the extraction for the, uh, for the hood. I think we're going to have maybe a solid pipe come up or maybe a little bit of a solid pipe, solid pipe go across. Like fire door type hinges like ball bearing ones. I think two here and one on this piece should be good to go. Um, if not, I've got uh, some four inch butt hinges. Yeah, so we'll get some more supports on there, we'll get these on there, test for everything, make sure everything's good, and we'll look at fitting it to the wall then. Cool. I'm gonna set this to three inches, or oh, 75 mil. So we're gonna put these through and use these bits as strips to straighten them up. Notice the difference, and this is why it's important, especially when you're going against the grain on uh, plywood. You can see how smooth the cut is here, and then how rough, how chipped out and hammered that is, just because the blade wasn't far enough up. So really, you want a minimum of about a quarter inch of the blade above here, like this. Go for a quarter to a half inch, and the difference between not having enough blade poking out to having just the right amount poking out. Look, perfect. One to go along here, one to go along here. They'll be on the back face, maybe a short piece along here. I think in an ideal world we might strengthen this up as well, but we'll see, we'll put it up if it twists, and we'll just cut some more, I think. Not good. So when you find the strength to really shed your skin.
Check it out! Look. Well, it's spanky. Be interesting to see if it moves when the uh, air's running through it, but yeah, I'm super pleased with that. And you've got to get the dust extraction on it, eh? Okay, so this is where we're at. It's looking, well, sort of looking good. Just bear in mind, obviously, we're not finished. We have, um, at the moment, a temporary pipe coming out of here. We're going to some four inch um, rigid ducting. It's going up here, nice and tidy. I'm liking it. Got a couple problems though. Let me pull this back over. Ooh, look, it moves. Right, so first off, we have a lot of flex in this joint here. Let me go to the other side. So we've got a lot of flex in this joint. That's got to be removed. We've got some twist in this beam along here. This is twisting, so we've got to take the twist out of this. We've got to sort the flex out at this joint, sort the flex out at the other joint. These are the old hinges. These are the new hinges, so quite a bit of difference. These are C7s or grade sevens, so these are rated up to 40 kilos. And these are C13, so these, or grade 13, sorry, so these are rated up to 120 kilos. So, Hopefully that's going to deal with a lot of the problem. And then the other is we've gone and got like a centenary wire kit. It's just to stop this from dropping even more. That's what we're going to do. So let's get into it then, eh? I needed a way to hang it up from the boom arm. I had an original sort of idea in my head and it didn't work. Or I, okay, it didn't, it's not that it didn't work. It's that as I went through the process, I realized that it wasn't going to work. So this is the idea that I've come up with instead, right? This is going to be the front end of the um, dust extraction. This is going to be the back end, so that way, it's going to sit on here like this. The hose is going to come up. We're going to have a, like a, looks a little bit like a paddle, but it's not. So don't get excited, you weirdos out there. So that's going to sit like this. This is going to go in between here. We're going to have a bit of timber sandwiched in here. And then I've got some cutouts, if you can see. And I'm going to go for like a butterfly nut washer and a bolt coming through. And then that way we can tighten it up, lift and down and then that should give us a dust extraction. So I'm gonna get these acrylic on, make sure this fits, get the pine out at the other shop, um, make the frame up, attach the frame, and then uh, we'll get it on the boom arm and see if it works, eh? So I want all of these to lap, right? So both ends, they're all going to be like lap joints and then in the centre there's going to be uh, a single piece that goes up here and I want that to lap into the cross brace that's going to go along this section here. And then what will happen is, is that will then all tie in and then it's going to be sandwiched between these two pieces of 6mm birch with some uh, polyurethane glue. Yeah, it's going to be mega strong that's, and that's what we need. <laughs> Glue it and nail it into this and to the other side, get it all sandwiched together and then we can get moving. You can see we're all sorted now, all nicely sandwiched. We'll let the glue dry, we'll sand everything smooth, get rid of all this and then we've got to saw the centre out. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? So the paddle's done. And this, hopefully, is going to slide in, and I reckon we're going to put it about here. We could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. What do you think to that then? I am pretty pleased with it, if I'm honest with you. When I say relatively pleased, I think maybe it just worked out really well and I just need something to critique about it. Um, and to be fair, if I built, say, just for 1,500 pound all the money, right? To be fair, if the only thing I can critique about it is that the pipe's a bit of a minging color and I can see black cable ties, I think that's a win, right? I would say that's a win. 
Um, do me a favour guys, I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. If you stayed this far, please do me a favour and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. I'm a big, big boy, I can cope, right? Um, but yeah, I really enjoy any feedback that you have, so drop it in the comments below. You'll take it easy, and I shall catch you on the next one, all right?